Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is my new Microsoft Access VBA tutorial. Quick tip for today. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to auto adjust the text box height depending on the amount of characters in a text box. All right, so we have one text box on the form. I already written the code up. We'll just step through the code and see how I did it. So in the events tab for the text box, I have the uh, after update event set. So when I hit enter or tap out the control, it'll auto adjust the size of the text box, depending on the amount of characters in there. So let's go inside. So I want to increase the height of the text box when I reach 50 characters, and that's what this constant is for. The original height of the text box, you can just get that from layout view or design view when you click on the text box on the format. You can see the text box height right here, and it's in the inches. Then I have key whips. Whenever you're adjusting the component's height on a form in Microsoft Access, you have to convert inches and T-whip to T-whips, and that's the reason why I have this constant. And T-whips is 1440. I'm using this line count variable to determine the size of the, the height of the text box. And this is just going to hold the text box uh, data, and this is going to hold the length of the text. And this will hold the amount of lines that I need to adjust. All right, let's scroll down some more. So just in case you're reading from a table, I use the NZ function. Just in case it's null, to convert it to an empty string. Else it just returns a string and two text data. And then I also extract the length of the text data into this text, uh, text length variable. And the first thing we need to do is check and see if the text length in the text box is greater than the uh, increased line height. That way we know that we have to increase the size of the text box, else we have to bring it back to the original height. So first we have to determine how many uh, new box heights that we need to create. And I rounded this up by one, so I divided the text length by the, uh, Divide the text length by the increased line height, and then I add one to it to round it up. And then from that, we use the original height of the text box times the box lines, and then we convert it over to T whips by times it by T whips. And then if we need to bring it back to the original state, the box lines is of course going to be one, and then we do the original height times T whips plus one. To round it up. Alright, so let's see how this works. I'm going to go to form view. Let's type some characters in there. Put a whole bunch of cues in there. And when I hit enter, you can see it auto adjusts the height. If I delete some more characters out of here, hit enter, it goes back to the original state. Do some more. And that's a little quick tip. I just recently learned this technique. It's not widely known, but you do have to play around with it because character sizes are it varies. Like the L character may be a little bit smaller than the Q character, etc. So just get whatever uh, character amount that you want to uh, make a new line and just go off of that. If you have any questions, just uh, message me and I'll answer it for you. Until next time.